Hola, hola. Welcome, my beautiful soul. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you to all the replay viewers and all the viewers who are on live. And for those of you who don't know how to join me live, um, it's by joining on my Facebook group, Miracles Within Us. Um, and you just look for Miracles Within Us and it'll pop up. Okay, great. So today I want to talk about suffering. And I did the card of the day. And the card that came up was forgiveness. Okay. And while I was sitting with this card and feeling into the energy, I felt this really big impulse from the guardian angels, from my guardian angels and from all the angels to talk about forgiveness and releasing suffering. And I want to do a healing with you right now. doesn't matter where you are. Um, just allow yourself at this moment to give permission to your angels to step forward. Okay, forgiveness. So, there, so what the angels are sharing with me right now is that there's different levels of forgiveness. So there's the forgiveness of the situation. There's forgiveness of people involved. There's forgiveness of yourself, your role. Okay, in everything, anything that you're suffering in, there's a self-inflicting suffering that occurs in that dynamic. Whether it is that you felt that you needed to speak up or you should have not said something, whatever the case may be, okay, there is some self-imposed suffering when we are feeling sad or we're feeling depressed or we're feeling any type of emotion that doesn't feel good, right? We all know what it feels like that moment when we're like, why am I here? What's going on? Why am I not happy? And there's a self-imposing um, suffering that's occurring, okay? So what I would like us to do right now is to allow ourselves to open up our heart center. Okay, I don't, can you see me? So this is, you know, our heart center here. And you could place your hands over your heart, you know, your heart center, heart chakra. And just get connected to there, what's happening there, right? And this doesn't take a lot of effort. It doesn't take a lot of time. It just takes awareness, okay? And so just allow yourself to connect with your heart. Give yourself permission to do that. Okay, we're so running around doing so many things. And right now I'm asking for you to do something for yourself that is going to benefit you and going to benefit everyone in your life. Okay, because everyone will be let go and released from playing out the scenario of the suffering. Right, wouldn't that be great if everyone, if we could just release ourselves from the suffering and then in the letting go of ourselves, we give other people permission to release and not play out their suffering and the imposing suffering in your situation. Right? So just connect to your heart plus space and take in a deep breath in and let it go. In and out. One more time. In and out. And now we're just going to open our arms out. And this is just a symbol of saying I am opening up my heart. Right now my hands are open wide. And we're just opening up, opening up, 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 out, 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 out. We're just letting ourselves open our heart center into it. Let it explode into beautifulness, right? Whatever that beauty is, whatever that healing is, just give yourself permission to open up your heart. Now we call upon the angels and beings of 100% pure white light to step forward right now. Thank you for being here. We ask you, angels, to step forward and we give you permission 
to step into our energy right now and to help release us from our suffering. On all dimensions, on all levels, we let it go now and we release ourselves from attachments, from allowing ourselves to be manipulated or misguided in life. We allow ourselves to release, we're releasing, we're releasing, we release ourselves the cords and attachments to others. Now just be aware of your body because you're going to feel the sensation. You're going to feel your body getting energized and releasing. We release all the backstabbers, we release all those what they call energetic knives in our back. We release the chains on our ankles that hold us from suffering, that holds us in control. We now take back our power, right? And we release these painful burdens of chains that we have on our body, on our energy, in our chakras, in our hearts. We release those shackles now. They are gone, washed away. And the universe takes all of this with beauty, all of these chains and, and transforms them into beautiful things in the world. We are now free. And continue to do this, continue to allow yourself to release, right? Because there's layers on this. It's not just a one-time thing. This is a lifetime thing. This is a lifestyle. We go around life and we're going to interact with people. We're going to interact with energy. And we're human and we make mistakes and so do the people around us. And it is such a blessing when we can just give forgiveness when we could say my friend my sister my brother my mother my anyone stranger I forgive you even though I'm angry and as I forgive you I allow myself to release myself from playing out the rule or the vibrational frequency of suffering in that dynamic and as you move along in that you start to feel lighter, okay? So now today, continue to embrace this light, this energy into your world. Allow, allow, allow. Allow the light of 100% pure white light, this angel, beautiful healing into your life, into your world. It is through that we can create miracles in our life. Okay. How many times have we heard those stories of people curing themselves of uncurable diseases? And it was because they surrendered to life. They surrendered to the suffering. They let it go. And in their energy, they moved their vibration to wellness. To the vibration that only wellness can survive in. So anything less than well will diminish. You understand? Do you see the power that you hold in your consciousness? Do you see the power that you hold by your intention? By your being? You choose. You have a choice right now, my friend, my brother, my sister. You have a choice right now to say, I am done with suffering and I am in happiness. Or you can stay in suffering. It is up to you, and it's a choice. And some choices, even though the route is, I want to end suffering, I just don't know how to. The first step is acknowledging that you want to release it. And the second thing is then to start trusting in divine. Do what you need to do. Release the people, the situation, the talk about it. You know, we love to tell stories. Well, let's start telling stories that empower ourselves, that, in, that move ourselves, that create a movement within others. Let's release 
the stories of chatter around gossip and making someone less than beauty, less than happiness. Doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Doesn't matter what happened five seconds ago. What matters is the now. That's the only thing that's real. So are you suffering from things from the past? You know, we, there's people who have really, really challenging experiences in their life. We all go through different challenges in our life. And you know how we stay stuck to that is through our thought, is through our talking of it, is through the continuous being in it. Okay? Maybe you got heartbroken and there's someone you love that you want to be with and for some reason you can't be in that relationship anymore. Can you allow yourself to release that person with love and for you to open up the gate to then be in love again with someone who wants to be in love with you in, re in, in return. Doesn't mean you stop loving that other person. You love them from a distance and you send them healing and love and you no longer have to suffer in the sadness of being, I wish I had that person, I miss those times. But you can see and think of those times of like, that was a great moment in my life and I'm glad I had it. Versus, I'm sad I don't have that now. It's a perception. And as you move and you move your perception and you, you tweak what is happening in an everyday chatter in your mind, you elevate your vibrational frequency to have wellness. Because illness in our body is caused by main like the one of the biggest sources is not loving ourselves enough and that's in in not loving ourselves enough we eat the wrong foods we get into the wrong relationships we um work in low paying jobs right where we not making it and we can't experience the life the style that we want so it comes in different forms and a lot of times we don't see that. So if something isn't occurring in your life that you want, more money, a loving relationship, to feel good when you wake up in the morning, to, to have great health, it's because there's a component of yourself that isn't fully love, self-loving. So forgive yourself for that. Forgive yourself for for that because you didn't know right just take yourself off the hook you know release that hook that hook is gone that hook is gone so embrace what's around you to to love and the angels are always here with us you know every night I tell and when I speak to my angels before going to bed I said, angels, you know, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I'm so grateful that I have you to talk to. I have, I'm so grateful that you listen. Even when times when I don't hear you. Even in times when I don't feel you. I still know you're there. And that's what I want you to, to grasp. It's that even though you don't see it, you don't feel it, doesn't mean it isn't there. So wellness, being healthy is there. Being happy is there. Being in love is there. Having a, a great paying career is there. Having the family you desire is there. You just have to claim that it's yours. You just have to claim it. So the way that we claim it is first forgiving and acknowledging ourselves, acknowledging with ourselves, hey, I'm suffering. I cause this suffering to myself. Okay? And these sufferings, they reside in our body in different ways. And one of the biggest things is in our chakra system, right? And, and also in our meridians, right? Our energy centers, which are these cycles of energy that flow through our body, through different organisms in our body, okay? 
and I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, but for those who are like, I'm ready to really release this suffering. And I'm ready to move forward. And I don't even know why I'm suffering. Like some of us are like, I don't know why I'm suffering. I don't know why I don't have enough money. I don't know why I, why I have this sickness. Or I don't know why I'm, I'm in this unhappy marriage. And if you don't know why, that's okay. That is totally okay. What is important is that you move forward and acknowledge where you are and you move into the healing. So something that I want to offer you today is I do Reiki channeling, right? Where I can see and, and, and chakra channeling is what I meant to say. <laughs> I do chakra channeling. And in the chakra channeling, I'm able to tap into each chakra in your body. And I use the seven main chakras. And we could see if it's weak, if it's overactive. Um, there's no such thing as blocked. If, if it's blocked, you're dying. Because we can't live without this energy flow. So there's weakness, there's strength, there's um, overuse of it as well. That can occur. And what also comes up in the chakra reading is how you can release that block it that thing that's slowing you down or overacting like it's overactive right so and not only will you get that what you also receive is a healing balance right after with the angels so if you're interested um, I'll put the link below so you can get that. It's called Angelic Chakra Reading and Balance. And it's a combination of the angelic energy. It's a combination of the Reiki energy because I'm also a Reiki practitioner. And all of these healing modalities that I've gone through. And I don't need to go through that list. But there's a combination of all of it so that you can get clear. Are you ready to get clear? You know, and it's so much fun. It's so amazing. And if you are suffering and you don't, and you are ready to like, I don't need to do this alone. I want to help you through this. So I'll have that information below. And one little nugget for those of you out there who are not sure if this is for you. This is for you if you are completely ready to step into a new you, the real you, and not live in the life of suffering. And, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. For some of us, it can. If you completely surrender and release, which can happen, you can let it go right now. But I'm going to tell you, a lot of us have resistance because we don't truly believe or we're so attached to the story. We're so attached to the feeling and sometimes it's, a, it's an onion thing or it's generational. You know, what the angels have showed me is that sometimes these sufferings, they're in our DNA. It's actually like, it's not just like you learn it. It's actually embedded in us, in our actually, in our physical suffering of, of our family lineage through our DNA. So in this session, you'll be able to tap into that, release yourself. And the greatest thing is that if anyone in your family who's connected to you and your DNA has also is ready to release, that DNA pattern, that gets released for them too, by you doing it, right? And that goes vice versa. If someone in your family does it, and in your energy, you're just waiting for that energy to be released, it then occurs for you as well. So, wouldn't that be an amazing gift that you can offer not only yourself, but your loved ones? Maybe you have children. You know, and you're like, I don't want my kids to have this, you know, passed on. And this is a great way that you can do it because children, 
they're ready in the all flow of life and anything that benefits them vibrationally, they're ready accept. It's when we get older that we put all these constrictions around us. But if they're like children, especially under the age of seven, automatically whatever you do that is a lineage healing, it gets erased from their DNA. If they choose, like most of the time they choose yes. <laughs> and you don't have to have that conversation with like a five-year-old, you know. It's automatic in their, in their energy. So, you know, that, that's a beautiful thing that um, I wanted to share as a little like nugget as far as like it's not just you, it's, it's a generational thing sometimes. So we'll be able to see that as well. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing. And I'll have that information below. And if you want to go to my website right now, it's miracleswithinus.net. And if you click on the service link, you'll see it there. So thank you so very much. Thank you for your time. I give you, I give myself, I allow myself permission to be here with you and to be in your space. And thank you for allowing me into your space, into your heart, into your energy to do this with you today. And I love you unconditionally. And until the next time, namaste.